Hey yo guys, what's good, what's happening, and what's going on? Oh my god, I've got a kitty cat here. She's so needy. Anyway, today, you probably noticed the GoPro mount. Probably noticed I'm wearing my Bass sweater, my Bass Pro sweater. It's because we're going fishing. My buddy said he wants to go today. He said as long as it doesn't rain, we're going to rip it. So we're going to go out, we're going to jump on his boat, and we're going to go fishing. Guess what else I found out? I'm filming with the GoPro Hero 9 right now. The GoPro Hero 9 has the CPL filter, which helped a lot in London when I was filming the fishing because you could see the fish through the water. Well, you couldn't see the fish, but you could see through the water pretty well. I also found out this camera here has the same feature as the GoPro Hero 12 with that max lens mode. I'm in the bathroom because that's where my mirror is and my cable for the GoPro just caught the friggin' door. But check this out. So I got you guys like this, right? And I start tilting the camera. Oh wait, never mind. It's not doing it now. What the hell? It was doing it. It kind of helps when you have the setting turned on, but I have you like this and I start tilting the camera and it horizon locks. So that's pretty cool, right? All these years I've been using this camera and I had no idea it had that feature. So anyway, I'm gonna rock a piss, gonna jump out in the truck. I wanna re-rig the Daiwa to be a wacky rig because I'm gonna use the Daiwa today. I love that, for some reason I love that reel more than the Shimano, even though the Shimano is twice the price. I just find it works better. So let's pitter patter. Alrighty guys, live on location. My buddy's just gonna get a rag to uh, wipe off the seats. And as always, as per tradition, I usually toss in the lake first just to get the skunk off the boat, see if anything's out there, anything wants to eat. There's like a little. Ooh, you got one of those things. A little woodpecker over there. Oh, yeah, the float. Yeah, Bloke taught me how to float fish. Yeah, that's tries to explain it to me and I'm like, you gotta show me man, because the explaining is not working. Float fishing came up clutch down there because holy crap, nothing was eaten. I'm so worried today is gonna be the same way. I don't know, we're gonna try the narrow, the stepping stones there. Well, that's a wacky rig, right? Yeah, this is a wacky jig. So it's a jig head with a weedless setup and a hook. There's something biting over there. I have a feeling it's just a little nerd. Oh. Cause he just tap to tap. Usually if I can catch one off the dock, we have a good day. I'm just worried this cold snap is either going to make them eat top water, which is why the Daiwa is equipped with a, a scout, which barely goes down two feet. So if they see it, if they're in the middle column, they should come up and smoke it. Well, guys, today might be a tough day. Yeah, that's metal. Is that your um, ugly stick reel? The one that you broke? The Shakespeare on it's that? It's the reel, yeah. Oh, okay. So should I put a weight on that fucking line? We're off. I don't know. We can just try whatever, man. Just try whatever. I'm going to try it like that. And that's a dual clutch setup. That's what I use for carp fishing. Yeah, well, it turns on the back drag. You have two drag systems on that. Really? All right, guys. Let's go. We're going to the stepping stone. got to stand against. <laughs> Where's that towel? There were some comments in the past video about why did we slow down right here? You see all these jugs? They mark rocks. Not all mar rocks are marked. And um, if you smoke one, pulling. yeah, yeah, that's why I'm saying this cold front's gonna just murk all the weeds and make it bitch the fish. Yeah, these here mark the big rocks, like there's one right there, if you guys can see it. Um, yeah, don't know who does this, they won't come forward because if you do hit one and they didn't mark it, they could be held liable. So somebody sneaks out here at like three o'clock in the morning, scuba dives, and lays down some jugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember when they were launching skidoos through this and Buddy sunk his uh, his mock? Yeah, and the other guys came around with the mock Z and pulled on that aluminum boat behind them to get it in. Yeah, he didn't really go that. There was somebody riding in the boat too. <laughs> behind a sled in a boat. This this area never freezes in the winter. Well, some uh, no, no, it doesn't. Even when you look on the topo from last year, it didn't freeze. It gets a, it gets a little... Like a thin layer. In the middle of winter, but... All right. Definitely marks as no. And we're clear-ish. So we normally fish over there, but we're gonna try something different today. All right, sit down time. All right, guys, first spot. Oh, <laughs> I'll just leave it there because I'm pushing on the uh, the canopy. 
seeing how the fish are blowing up on top water, I decided to uh, grab the old Daiwa here. I got a Guggen Scout on. Figured I would go about a quarter of a foot below the waterways and just let it do its thing. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Fishing might be kind of rough. It's freaking cold out. The water temperature, God knows what it is. Seem to catch more grass than I do fish. Or you catch more fish. So far I'm winning for a salad bar, that, that's a given. Because Jesus Murphy. I don't even see my float. I got one. Oh, nice. Yeah, well I'm throwing a worm right, so I don't think it's gonna eat. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, first fish on the board. A little baby rock bass. Look at him, so cute. New see boo boos. So there we go, a little dink. All right, see you later, buddy. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for eating. I'm throwing the Dollarama reel, guys, because uh, nothing big's biting. So let's see if we can get some little nerds on, on the board. This feels like London all over again. I'm telling you, it's that time of year where it's, it's fall, but the weather hasn't quite complied. But like, we never really get a fall up here. It usually is like, it's warm, it's warm, it's warm, it's snow. And those meteorologist dicks, they're like, oh, it's gonna be a super snowy winter. And now they're like, oh, it's gonna be a warm winter. Oh, it's gonna be a rainy winter. They don't even know what the hell's going on. All right, let's cast it out. Story time with anglers. Can't catch fish. <laughs> here, little dink, come and eat. Dinner's being served. Oh, he's got it. Oh, well, he did. Unless he just took it off the hook. I think he just took it off the hook. I saw the bobber do a little pirouette there and yeah, there's still a worm. He didn't pirouette it off. Because Willie would put a piece of bread on the end of his pellet gun. Mm -mm. Come up and mouth the fucking barrel. Well, that didn't work out. I caught... <laughs> nice cast. <laughs> I, I caught the end of the... Uh, I got a fluorocarbon leader tied on, but I caught the knot on the end. I really got to learn how to tie that uh, FG knot. The double uni's all right, but sometimes it's not. Oh, wow, that's... That's quite the mess. You're close to those big rocks and you're close to the top. Oh, how did that happen? Tell you guys, only I could bird's nest a freaking spinning rod. <sighs> Time to cut and retie. Alrighty guys, we had enough of this because we're going to try out this other spot that my buddy knows, uh, the stepping stones. And it's story time when we get there because apparently there's lore on it. So, let's give her. All right, guys, there are the stepping stones. We're coming over here. Are we casting at the stones? Might be bass held up in the structure. All right, guys, welcome to the stepping stones. See if anything wants to eat. Yeah, I'll do that for you. What's that? Your what? Oh, your lighter. That won't let us smoke. Well, I guess it would if you had you know, something like the chapstick. I found it! You won't have to go on to the shore and get two twigs. <laughs> Spend an hour trying to light it. Snap your fingers and fart. It doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I tried that trick too. Dad lied. I just I tried that kind of fish. All right, guys, story time. So what's the uh, lore behind this place? Okay, so a long, long time ago, in a galaxy not far away, there was an Indian pre princess and she was being chased by, by uh, trolls. By trolls, okay. Across from there to the other side. And they were gaining on her. And she got to the, the receptacle stones that used to go all the way across. And she got about halfway. The trolls almost got her. The giants came, picked up the rocks and threw them and carried her over. Huh. So she could escape. An Indian, Indian princess. All right, guys. Going to try the chatter donk. Let's see if we can get something to eat. This thing's hilarious. You can feel it so loud in the line. Like you just feel your rod just rattling as it's coming back in. All right, guys. Well, enough of this spot. There's nothing here. I had a nibble, but that was on a worm and 
he stripped me so there ain't no fish in this lake well there are but just not right now they've gotten picked up by the uh aliens mm. i'm glad to smell a four stroke early in the morning yeah, it's on <coughs> oh gross uh. Uh -uh. all right guys we're back in our old spot so apparently this leads to another little lake this little creek right here this little river oh uh, probably that little inlet uh yeah lights flashing you about to fart oh okay guys i'm gonna turn off the camera so you don't see my buddy's willy definitely not fishing that's for sure because there's no fish oh guys i've been fanning this entire area and nothing wants to eat the chatter dunk i don't know man like i said before on previous videos this is the weird time of the year where the weather can't quite make up its freaking mind to be summer or to be winter. We don't get falls like the people down south do. We usually get like, they call it the Indian summer where it's like 20 degrees and all of a sudden, damn snow. Just heard a loon go off. He sounds pissed. Probably can't catch fish either. So there's probably little guys around. I might just switch it back to the float setup with a piece of worm on it. Sail that out and just go dink hunt. I just cut a lily pad. You see it sink when you pull? <laughs> yeah, I saw one go down, but I ended up just catching its roots. Yeah, but the hook on this chatter donk is friggin' massive, so it's got to be able to open its mouth really wide to get the hook. Time for a Red Bull. It's like I'm in the motocrosses, boys. No, I got him. Ooh, a perch. Ooh. About 50 of those. You make a fish stick. I haven't caught a perch since last year. There we go. Fish number two. Derpy little perch. Say hi to the camera. Hi, camera. Bye, buddy. There we go, guys. Oh, he was on. He fell off. I will go back for him. Well, you know the rule, eh? If the little guys are around, the big guys aren't here. Because the little guys wouldn't be here. The big guys were here. They'd be like, I'm out. Just cast it and it's already getting hit. Pretty sure it just got stripped. Nope. Baby bass do 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 baby bass do 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 baby bass do 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 baby bass. Alrighty, so far I caught a rock bass, a largemouth, but he's so little, yes he is, and a perch. Bye, buddy. Clean dismount. Getting hit, boys. Just wait for the choke. Unless you already stripped me. The fact that the bobber's not moving means I have no more worm left. No, that was me reeling. Yeah, I'm, I got no meat. I got some no meat. He stripped me. There we go. There we go, guys. Another little potato. Ooh, a sunfish. That's like species number four. Oh, that's a nice one, too. He's pretty. He's a pretty little boy. You're a pretty little boy. You're lucky I don't want to go for catfish because I'd lop your little stupid head off. No, I don't even have any slip floats. I want to get some. When I was down south, they only had this kind of this style. So I grabbed one and I only grabbed the one. But here we go, guys. A little bluegill. That's what they call bluegills because they got the blue on them. It's so cute. Do the over mouth thing. Show me your face. Show me your face. Open your mouth. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay, bye. There we go, guys. Another little nerd. What are you? A little baby bass. Do, 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 baby bass. There we go. This thing has been coming up clutch for these little nerds. It's my hook remover because, man, they like to choke it back to their asshole. And only these bass like to do that. So that's a good little. Well, now he's one with the boat. 
<laughs> you need to chill out. <laughs> Got I literally just dropped it off the side of the boat and all of a sudden my bobber was underwater and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> no Another perch. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. Okay, bye, bud. Don't even need to reel at this point. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you catch a minnow? No, he's a perch. Don't even need to reel anymore, boys. They just, just drop it in the water and these nerds come along and just devour it. I know it's not the most exciting fishing video out there, but um, fishing's tough this kind of time of year. You gotta do what you gotta do to get shit did. Whatever the hell that means. There we go, guys, another bluegill. It's a multi-species twerp fishing day. That's a nice gill. Oh. Nice little bluegill. Okay, bye, buddy. Thanks for playing. Oh, my buddy's on the board. He caught one. What, you got a perch? Oh, you got a sunfish. A little bluegill. That's, that's right, guys. Today's a twerp fishing day. The big guys don't want to play. The little guys are hungry. Let's feed the little guys so they become big guys so that we can catch them next year. What are you doing? All right, guys. You you want this? Where'd that thing go? Where'd that loon go? Yeah, I was gonna feed him. Oh, there he is. Hey, you want this? There you go, guys. Another perch. And I got robbed again. Right through the bottom lip. Look at his stupid face, man. Skeet, 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 skeet. Hey, guess what, guys? Another perch. There we go. Another perch bud. Yeah. You go. Oh, my buddy's on. Perch bud. Oh, you got a sunfish. Good old bluegill. It's like my hook's too small for them to be stuck on it. Well, guys, another dirty perch. Right through the face. He just a little guy. Who's a little guy? He's a little flying guy. Oh, did you did you gouge that guy? He's a bass. No, he's a bluegill. Oh, another one of these little derpy perch. Can't take, can't take bass, can't take perch. Harry. Look at that second. They're really fucking big. Real close. Like, you know that second dog? I watched one step over from one side to the other. <laughs> there we go. Another. Yeah, Derpy little perch. Minnow sized. And I still have a chunk of worm on here, so I'm gonna send it out. So many fish can I catch with this one little chunk of worm? Now that's oh! Sunfish. My buddy caught one! Caught a little sunner. I don't know where the sunfish are, I keep catching perch. I mean, I'm checking for big guys right now, so I'm gonna sail out the Sanko wacky rig. Just see if anything out there is substantial that wants to eat. Mind you, if there was, there wouldn't be these little dinks kicking around, right? I mean, it's fun watching these little dinks in the water try to go after my Sanko. That's, it's bigger hey, than them. I caught a bass. You caught a bass? I caught a bass. Is that your first bass this year? Yeah. So that's my buddy's first bass this year. Get it closer. <laughs> Look at the size of that sucker. It's a YouTube three pounder. All right, guys, we're basically done. There's nothing eating but dinks out here, so we're gonna call her quits for today. 
called the video one last cast, you're probably thinking I was hanging up fishing for the year, but you know me, somebody's like, hey, you wanna go fishing? And I'm like, yes. So, caught a lot of dinks. It looks like a great day to fish, but I don't know where the big fish are. The little guys are here, big guys, nowhere to be found. Oh well, time to hang up the rods. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.